uh, Cecilia, let's let's uh, uh, get the little matter of the yeah. Channels Classic out of the way. Uh, people want to know what's really happening. You've been on top of it. You've you've been monitoring and. Uh, what are the things that people need to know that they don't already know, aside from the fact that in two days you're going to see uh, young kids, I mean, at, at, in, in, in their prime, doing athletics, on participating in some events. Yes, absolutely. In two days. In two days. And that's what they're starting on Sunday. Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, we'll be having the heat of mm -hmm. all the events. And, of course, on Monday, you have the semifinals and the finals. Uh, over 1,000 athletes expected to participate from about 60 schools expected to participate. But then the thing is, uh, all the schools that have shown their interest, have applied for these and all that, it's going to be a screening on that day. Mm -hmm. So if your athletes are screened out, I'm sorry, I mean, we just want to follow the rules. It's for under 17 athletes. We don't want to see anybody older than that so mm -hmm. even if this guy is still and in you have to be in secondary school. school of course you have to be in school even if the, the guy is still in secondary school but he's above that age he will not participate so it's not like all secondary school events is for under 17 secondary school students and all, and all that so that's how it's going to be and we expect the schools to actually comply with these directives we don't want uh Students crying on that day, they were screened out, they can't participate and all that. If you come with the right age, the right students, definitely they will your school will participate. They will not be screened out. But if you try to, you know, kind of play the game, we know what happens in Nigeria, obviously it's gonna be screened out because Lagos State has got the database of almost all the students, several schools in the state. So that's what we are using to screen out these students. So on Sunday, wish you all the best. Nine o'clock a Sunday morning at the Tesla Malogu Stadium is gonna go down. Uh, talking about the channel's track and field classics. It's big, it's huge, it's the very first edition, and it's going to be uh, at the best in town. Just trust Channel's television. What we've done with the Kids Cup, it's been used. And these are the events, I mean, the events confirmed right now. The field event is just going to be only the long jump for the field event. But then this track event, we have the 100 meters race, the 200 meters, the 400 meters, the 4 by 100 meters relay, the 4 by 400 meters relay also, then the 100 meters holders. We have the 400 meters holders. And of course, the long jump for the field event. Man, these are the events for the day, and all the athletes that are competing, wishing them all the best. Man, if you a good hodler, maybe this might just be yeah. uh, the exposure you need for you to, you know, be the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Just come, show what you've yeah. got, and schools, we're still saying it, come with the students with the right age. We don't want to see kids outside school. Um, kids in school that have been competing, that registered, and of course we know they're within that age. It's mm -hmm. going to be easy, but if you come with students uh, like, okay, <laughs> the screening, uh, will, you'll be shocked at the screening. I mean, the technical crew, what they've done, the consultant talking about Henry and Mickey, what they've been able to do, we know that you guys will you get the best of all this one. Yeah, and you know, we, we encourage the parents, guardians, teachers, games masters, to assist the students, you know, support them. And the case has also been that uh, these kids don't do all those things by themselves. I mean, there, there's some connivance somewhere. So uh, we trust that if the parents, the guardians, and the you know teachers, games masters are on board, I mean, it will save everybody the trouble Absolutely. of having to uh, sort Screen. out matters and we can focus on the game. And once again, uh, the, the, the people that want to see young lads uh, show their talents also can be a part of it and enjoy the total package the channels uh, is bringing to you, the first edition of the channels uh, classics. Uh, so what are you guys doing on Sunday? Just go over there and share the children up. So we want the stadium to be filled up Sunday morning after church. If we just come and see what these uh, young you know, students can actually do. You might just be watching a future Olympian. Yeah. That you never can say. You can actually, you know, boast and say, okay, I was, I, was actually, there. I was there when this guy first competed and he was discovered at the channel's track and field uh, classes. It's a huge one. It's going to be big uh, this weekend, Sunday and Monday from 9 a.m. at Tesla Balogun Stadium, over 1,000 athletes. So it's huge. We can't wait for that. Two more days. After today, <laughs> it's just one. And of course, yeah. Sunday is here. All right. Cecilia <laughs> is already calling them athletes. <laughs> but, but that's what some of them will become. Yeah, All right. So, <laughs> so let's move on. Let's talk about um, the ladies, uh, yeah. the girls, the Falcons, uh, the Super Falcons, I must add that, the Super Falcons, the most uh, successful uh, national team in Africa. Yeah. We, we must also uh, rub that acknowledge in. Acknowledge that. Acknowledge. Rub it in and acknowledge. Yeah. So what's the update with the girls? 
Uh, yeah, they played, they played uh, another friendly again. Okay, it's a step up from the one they played before. They played against uh, Dominic Hotspur in Lagos here on the system. Now they're playing another on the system boys again, Asek Mimosa. Meanwhile, Asek Mimosa, this academy actually have uh, the academy where they are. I think uh, Algeria, Cameroon have arrived there. I'm thinking we'll want to play those ones also. Yeah, not just playing against boys alone. Maybe they can actually step up and play that one. So it's today and uh, another, you know, way of strengthening the girls, you know, when they get to uh, Ghana. So we'll see how this is going to go. Remember when they played their first friendly uh, against uh, Dominic Hotspur, they lost a 3-2. That was the first one. Atlantic Hall pitch here in Ekwe. Uh, during their two-week training camp in Lagos. And right now, at the Asek Mimosa, where they are in Abidjan, they're playing another friendly. Asek Mimosa on the 16 boys, local friendly. Okay, after this, maybe, just maybe, they might play two more. Uh, when I mean two more, I mean real friendlies, right? If, yeah. A step up. Even, yeah. though the, even though the time is short, mm. uh, but hopefully they'll be able to work something out. Yeah. Work something out with or real friendlies. Good friendlies that could test. That'll be a good Absolutely. test uh, for the girls uh, because our expectations are very high. Uh, let's listen to somebody talking about uh, an, an ex international uh, that you caught up with recently, uh, talking about the Super Falcons, what she expects that will happen. Yeah. She's the assistant coach, she's part of the crew. National team before, and they have most of the players that have been in this uh, AFCON 2016. So I think uh, we will also count on some of them with their experience, and also we will go and give our best because I know Nigeria don't want to take it lightly, and also three things is at stake here. We have to know the importance of what we are doing, what we are going to do. That's why we try to give our best because World Cup is not only a AFCON World Cup, also is there. So we are trying to do our best, the best we can, to be able to blend the team so that we will have a very good result in, South, in Ghana. And we have been following uh, their games. Thomas was in Cyprus to watch their match. And uh, we have also followed some of their games on Kosafa. I think uh, we will uh, do our best to see what it takes for us to come out victorious against uh, South Africa. The target for us is just to go there and pick the cup. But we have to work hard also, which we have been doing, because we know that every country wants to beat us. If you have tested the national cake, everybody wants to continue to test it. So we will go there and give our best to make sure that we come back with the cup and also qualify for the World Cup, because this is the only thing Nigeria wants to hear from us. <laughs> Absolutely, that's the only thing Nigerians want to hear. I mean, come back with a trophy. And of course, before you come back with the trophy, you would have qualified you know, for the World Cup next year in France. She, she in reminds me of the saying I hear in some places that don't um, don't give me the labor pains, just give me the news <laughs> of the delivery. <laughs> I think that's what people just want to hear. I mean, Absolutely. They, 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 we are used to all of this yeah. uh, kind of preparation, but at the end of the day, in spite of all of those things Whatever you may come have back with a trophy. And I'm very happy that an assistant coach understands Yeah, that because she way. played the game, I mean. She understands mm -hmm. that, look, very well. it's part of everything. The only way to get your, the fans back on your side or to make them remain on your side is, in spite of all of this, still win. Yeah, absolutely. And she would have loved the situation whereby they play teams like, mm -hmm. you know, Cameroon, mm -hmm. Algeria. Yeah, I mean, what do Maybe you even make a foreign of, team. What do you even make foreign? Uh, for, you're, 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 you're Amy High. Yeah, we're not, we we're should. not going foreign. Because <laughs> yes. We're just staying here. I mean, we only, okay, they played France this year. That was pretty cool. That was okay. And of course, more like baptism on fire to tell the coaches, look, okay, so for you know, they've not been active and show all them that. Their level. You know, show them the level. The level you are right now is that you can actually go to the World Cup and concede eight goals. Yes. That was what that, yes. you know, did to us. Mm -hmm. No, knowing that that if you play this bigger these countries who have actually mm -hmm. you know grown in women football, I think by now we should find it's good you play boys because you want to strengthen them and all that, Physical. which is okay. We understand that, but sometimes they tell you that it's not all about friendlies. Mm -hmm. You may not play any friendlies, go to the World Cup and win, it's fine. But for respect, I mean, this the respectable games you play. You know, and people respect you for, for playing that game precisely for harmony, for harmony uh, and all, all that. Things. And also looking at the FIFA Bonding. ranking and all that, yeah. everything. So by the time you're playing on the 16 boys, on the 15 boys, on the 17 boys from academy and all that, it's not even like a league. If, if it's maybe we're playing like Aqua United, I understand it's big, but if you're playing a league, I mean, uh, a team that is playing a league, 
it's okay. But if boys from the academy, I'm like, what does that tell of the Super Falcons? Like, supposed to be a very big brand. You kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's a bit down. And, and maybe when they're playing, they shouldn't let us know. They should just keep it within themselves. <laughs> just tell the boys to come to their camp and just play against them for the strength they know that It shouldn't be like loud, oh, we're playing boys and all that. Then when they're not playing big ones, and let us know. Because it doesn't right. fall into the category of a warm-up game for you. Precisely. It's just point. like training. Get, just get, train training. with them. Yeah. And that's okay. Maybe it's for training. I don't think this is... So we should just call in it friendly, <laughs> right? <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, you're, you're not going to put words in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we just call it training. <laughs> because it's more of training than more of friendly. Because we've seen countries... Come on, Kenya, that way, that... Kafa said, oh, you guys, you are sorry, you can't go. Uh, Equatorial Guinea, I mean, you know, they won the appeal and all that, they are not going. I mean, they played a friendly before that, they're playing it against other African countries, yeah. and you'll be wondering why, I can, why can't Nigeria, African champions, can't just get a good one. Go on a break now, we'll come back, we'll look at how uh, the sports ministry wants to start funding the different sports federations so that the complaints will stop.